What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army. Thanks for tuning in. We're doing a review today of the newest Chogokin at the moment, which is the Chogokin Robonyan. From the Nintendo DS game, slash manga, slash anime, slash smartphone app, slash a bunch of stuff, Yokai Watch. Yokai stands for Ghost. And in this show, there happens to be a character without going into the full thing. That's why Google exists if you want to get more information about it, but it does seem pretty interesting. Actually, it seems like something I want to watch. So I ended up picking this up because, uh, yeah, it's a robot and it's Chogokin and it has Rocket Punch feature. And there is a gimmick that changes between these three eyes here. Other gimmicks include these two little chocolate bars here. You also get the Rocket Punch, which I already mentioned, and also this base here with the Rocket Effect. Inside the box we'll find a nice little baggie with the instructions. You also get the styrofoam tray where the figure is located and also this tray here which has the little effects gimmicks I showed you. So we'll go ahead and open this up. I've already pre-cut it open so uh, I can take a look at it. But here it is. Obviously it comes in a nice styrofoam tray which a lot of people either love or don't like. Uh, I myself love it. And there's usually a plastic tray here. I don't have it here with me but uh, for protection from it banging around. But uh, like I said, I already took this out, but this at least gives you an idea of what to expect when you find it. This little styrofoam piece up top, near impossible to take out without ripping anything, so I just kind of unplug it from the bottom. And normally I would stand the figure off to the side, except look at these feet, you're not going to get him to stand at all. Now luckily it does come with a little clear stand. Uh, you're going to pop it right into his little hole right there by his butt, and the little pointy feet will go right into those little spots made for it. One of the biggest reasons for me for even getting this was because uh, I was blown away by the Hello Kitty figure, which was tons of die cast. If you're expecting that, stay away. There's not a lot of die cast compared to the Hello Kitty. So the Hello Kitty had the entire head made out of metal, the whole body. This unfortunately has a big plastic head. Uh, you'll see it's got two tails. You just want to bring them out a little bit if you're going to display it. Uh, the figure itself is actually kind of cool. Let's go over it a bit here. Um, as far as articulation, you have the head. Uh, that moves up and down this way. Obviously it turns. No ratchets like the Hello Kitty. Uh, you got the shoulder, the inner black shoulder piece that moves. You also have the shoulder itself that spins around. You get these little teeny elbows here. You do actually have a waist. Uh, not necessarily behind here, just down here. You can see the legs will spin. And the little legs here also uh, move. They're on a little ball joint, but the feet are obviously part of the leg. If you move back here, you'll see the tails that do articulate. And you can also angle this rocket pack just a tad. Now one of the things it does have like Hello Kitty is the different eyes. Hello Kitty has the angry eyes, the yellow eyes, and all that stuff. This actually has a gimmick like that, except instead of hitting a button, there's actually this little uh, knob right here. Uh, turning it alone won't do anything, but if you pull back on it, and you guys have to see this mechanism in here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in there, but you'll see it, there is like a cool little mechanism which changes the eyes here. Um, I don't know what the deal is about. I know he has to charge himself because he is a robot. So it does say charge here and power here. And then he's also got a, another set of eyes. If we spin this again, he's got these stars right here. But what we're going to do for the rest of the review is just leave them standard. I just love spinning that. I mean, it, it's just a cool little gimmick there. Uh, I did mention he does have to charge himself. There's a point in the story where he has to charge himself in the house or something. Uh, and he does that by taking this little tailpiece off. And you'll see it's got a little electrical plug. Not only on this side, but also on this side. Now there's also another gimmick I'm going to show you guys. If we turn him around, uh, it took me a little while to figure it out without the instructions. But right here, if you press this here without holding him anywhere else, uh, put one finger in the front here, just press that you'll see the belt just swung open and this piece here opened. So if we bring this down, you can see the chocolate bar making factory. So yeah, that's exactly what he does. He makes chocolate bars in his stomach. Now when he's done making the chocolate bar, all you do is push right here on his chin, open it up, and you get a finished little chocolate bar. Now what makes this chocolate bar special is that it's actually a cast in metal. That's right. It's not a little piece of PVC or plastic. It's actually cast in metal which is, is, is pretty amazing. Like there's really literally no point to that. And you also get a open wrapper version. Yeah, I know guys. Totally crazy. But it's, it's Japanese. Remember, uh, it doesn't have to make any sense. As a matter of fact, this uh, is a robot cat from the future that makes chocolate bars. Uh, 
I have to see the show. Now I'd venture to say if you were even remotely close to wanting this, it's probably because you've come across this or know about it and were interested in that, which is really the reason I got it. But again, it's, it's not the same thing. This is just loads of die cast metal. This is a very little bit of metal, but I'll show you where it is. Now the metal that it does have is right here. This mouthpiece is metal. If we pop this open, this door here is metal and so is the rest of his body around here. So it's, it's not exactly heavy and most of the inside is taken up by that uh, little detailed gimmick in here. So it's just really like a hollow piece of metal, this door and this mouth. Alright, so we're going to move on to checking out uh, the other accessories he has which is uh, these little round things which are very easy to lose. These round things are actually uh, alternate hands, believe it or not. They're just round, they slot right, whoops, there you go, losing that. Whoa, all right, what a slot. Again, this is gonna be very easy to lose. So what we're gonna do is actually pop off one of his regular round hands, pop one of these on, and that slot right there is actually so he can hold on to one of the candy bars. So we'll go ahead and put that right in there. Just be careful not to scratch off the nice tampo printing. And there you are. Now this is most likely the way I'll be displaying Robonyan, but you do have the option of using this effects kit. This is supposed to be like smoke, and it has these little bits here that look like candy corn. What you want to do is just uh, put them together, and they're keyed to go in one way. So when you put them in there, they do uh, line up perfectly. And then just attach them to the base here, which is also keyed on the bottom. Then grab Robonyan. Remember I told you this thing uh, pivots here at a little angle. That little slight ratchet right there is just enough to get these to go right in the back which gives you the flight effect. Now it is a rather nice gimmick giving you the option of uh, showing it off with the flight pose here and you can also detach from here just to leave the little effects fire out the back of the rocket here uh, if you want to display it that way just like that. You know what guys I think the absolute best gimmick is this. Let me just get this little baggie out dump the parts here on the table for a sec. And next we're going to grab his arm and just yank it right out of the shoulder. See it's on a ball joint. Then you want to grab this piece here which also has a ball joint and you'll see it's got a nice little button. And yes, that is a rocket punch feature. So even though this doesn't have all the die cast Hello Kitty has, it has one of the coolest uh, gimmicks that Hello Kitty does have. Just be careful popping that in. You tend to want to squeeze the belt but the belt is actually very thin plastic so just be careful with that. And then just pop in the hand, and I'm sure it's not going to shoot too far, and I'm sure I'm going to probably lose it, but let's go ahead and test that out. It actually does uh, shoot pretty far. That's a cool little gimmick right there. Absolutely love it. So what I have here is a little bit of a scale comparison for those of you that don't collect Chogokin, but we have a 6 inch uh, Hasbro Stormtrooper and then we have a deluxe size Optimus Prime. And then for you diecast robot collectors we do have the Super Robot Chogokin God Sigma here and off to the right is a little Mechatro we go from Sentinel. And that's pretty much it guys, nothing overly complex. If you're enjoying the videos guys, please subscribe, share with your friends. There's also a support button somewhere at the top, it's usually an exclamation point to help support the channel, bring you more videos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you want to pick one of these up, there's a link in the description. Until next time, bye bye. Give me a chocolate bar, I'm hungry. Don't judge me.